Thank you for watching WTOL 11 Your Day. January is Firefighter Cancer Awareness Month, and these are the folks who run in when everyone else runs out. In all weather conditions, they hose down houses, crawl into tiny spaces, are exposed to who knows what just doing their job. Toledo Fire and Rescue Battalion Chief Matthew Brixey and Firefighter Meredith Hill have worked for years at the local and state level concerning firefighter cancer rates. They join us this morning. Good morning, folks. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Good morning. You know, let's let's talk a little bit about what these rates are. You know, I don't I don't think that people realize just how serious this is, but you are seeing, you know, firefighters who later develop some form of cancer. Talk about that a little bit. Well, firefighters are more prone than the general public to get cancer due just to the nature of our job. Um, more than 60% of the line of duty deaths on our memorial wall in Colorado Springs are attributed to cancer deaths. Wow, that's significant. And, you know, explain a little bit, describe the scene for us. You know, when you're out there and you're battling these fires, you know, we think, you know, water, flames, whatever, but talk a little bit about some of those chemicals, some of those things that you encounter when you're putting out fires. Well, with the modern building materials and our furnishings in our houses, um, we are wearing respiratory protection. We do wear our turnout gear that protects us from heat and it protects our lungs from some of those chemicals, but we're not encapsulated in a plastic bag when we're going into these situations. Our turnout gear can only protect us from so much. So the toxic soup atmosphere that we enter every time we go into a fire, um, it's still getting exposed to our skin. Yeah, there's only so much, you know. Uh, so you guys have been working on the local and the state level um, to, you know, get, get some protection, help you guys out. What have you been what have you been working on and what have you accomplished so far? Well, as of yesterday, city council here in Toledo made a resolution to recognize January as Firefighter Cancer Awareness Month, uh, which is a huge step. Um, just in recognizing and getting the word out, educating the public that our job is, you know, not just dirty and dangerous, but, you know, we're dying because of this. You know, we're not dying because of the fires and everything, but we're also dying because of all the cancer, the chemicals that are being absorbed into our skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And that is something that, that the public probably uh, doesn't know, and that's why we are raising that awareness. Is there, is there anything that, you know, we can do at home to help you guys? Well, obviously, the, the key to everything is prevention. Uh, if at home you prevent fires from happening, um, that's probably one of the keys. Uh, make sure you have smoke detectors. We go back to that all the time. But if you can get out of the house and lessen some of the dangers for us having to get in there to search around and find you, um, obviously that's the best thing we can do. And obviously support all the initiatives and support your local firefighters when you hear that there's somebody struggling with a battle, uh, battling cancer. Uh, anytime you can show support to your local men and women of the fire department, that's great. Yeah, and unfortunately, we're hearing about that all too often. You know, we're having a spaghetti dinner, we're having a fundraiser, you know, uh, for a firefighter who is battling cancer. But um, that is one way that we can show our support. Um, is, is there anything else that you all would like to add this morning or that you're working on? As of right now, um, a couple of months ago, we had 12 active members just here in Toledo that are fighting cancer or have had some kind of cancer diagnosis. Um, just awareness and um, educating the public. Um, if you know a firefighter, talk to them. Get educated on our job, what we're exposed to, and what we do. Yeah, it's a, that's significant. That's a, a huge number, and uh, we hate to hear that. Um, but again, that's why in January uh, it's important to raise that awareness and talk about this. So thank you, folks, for joining us this morning and for everything you do for our community. We appreciate it.